Hi guys, Dave Waring here again with digitalbrainbase.com. And today I asked one of our developers, Dave Jones, to walk us through the basics that we need to understand when choosing an AI PC for running local AI systems like Open Web UI. I also asked him to make his recommendation for the best AI PC bang for the buck. So stay tuned till the end of the video to hear his recommendation. Take it away, Dave. Hi, I'm David Jones from digitalbrainbase.com. In today's video, I'll walk you through key components to consider when buying a PC designed to handle AI tasks. The goal of this video is to help you purchase the perfect AI PC for you. And to go about that, we will talk about and demystify AI hardware requirements, try to understand the components involved, such as the CPU, GPU, RAM, and storage, and a few other things to consider. One of the key things is balancing performance with your budget because not everybody has an endless budget. And of course, try to build it so that it's future-proof and not out of date within 30 days. Now, the first component, of course, is the processor or CPU. Breaking it down very easily it is the brains of any AI PC, and in fact, any PC. And of course, people could argue exactly what it does, but if you're not getting into that technical aspect, it is the brains. And it handles all your primary tasks, calculations, and of course, the more cores that you have, the better it'll handle multitasking tasks. And with AI processing, it is all about multitasking. Um, recommendations for AI, of course, is an up-to-date Intel or AMD processor. The next component we'll talk about is the graphics card or GPU. This is a critical piece for dealing with any AI tasks. Pay special attention to VRAM because this determines how large the model can run, that you can run, and also how fast it will run. Right now, NVIDIA is probably the best cards you can get. Um, they can get rather expensive, so pay attention to the price tag. AMD is right behind memory, or RAM is the next component. Uh, you will need a bare minimum of 16 gigabytes to really do anything even basic. I would advise 32 gigabytes for if you're going to have very demanding tasks just because this is quite memory intensive app operations and if it has to continually be cached you will be very unpleased with the speed you're getting beyond the os storage is very important uh, some of these models can get rather large in size very easily 30 40 gigabytes uh, uh, per model and you could end up having 10 15 20 models on your hard drive and that's why it's preferred that you do ssds for these as well because when you ask the AI a question or you give it a task and it has to load that model, it is going to have to load the entire 30 gigs into VRAM or RAM before it can even attempt to work on it. So the faster that your drive storage is, the better off you'll be there. Once upon a time, power supplies were probably the, the least worried about component. They were pretty much standardized and nobody gave it a big thought. But in the land of where GPUs are king, you need three, four, 500 watts per hour for each one, plus the normal components that are uh, within the computer itself. And if you have multiple GPUs, suddenly you could be looking at a 2000 watt power supply very easily. And a component that's overlooked a lot of times is the cooling system in your computer. With all the, the wires that's being pumped through it, um, and as fast as things are moving, it generates a lot of heat and very quickly. Nothing will thrash your system or shut, shut it down even faster than heat. The first thing, if you don't have enough cooling, the first thing that will happen is your GPU will probably get throttled. And if it keeps pushing beyond that, then it will just brick your GPU, making it useless, waste of money. So always look at cooling, make sure the airflow is there. Um, and if perhaps even look at liquid cooling, hopefully you're armed with enough knowledge now to take a serious look at building your dream AI ready PC. While we have not gone over every component involved in computer building, we have narrowed down to the most important. And if you can answer all of these questions, any other things such as motherboard, case, uh, and keyboard will all be answered for you right then and there. Because if you wanna run three GPUs, if you wanna run X amount of RAM, it, you'll then be able to figure out what kind of motherboard you need, uh, what kind of case to hold it all. Um, even if you need two power supplies, you'll need a case to be able to handle that. Uh, but you, now you're armed with at least the basic understanding of what it takes, and you can hold a conversation to figure out what you actually need. 
Okay, guys, so as promised, here's Dave's recommendation for the best PC for running local AI systems like Open Web UI, the best bang for your buck. And it's the Menace Forum mini computer, the UM890 Pro with the AMD Ryzen 9 8945HS with 64 gigabytes of RAM and one terabit SSD. And at $729, this computer comes in several hundred dollars below comparable PCs. And it's also the system that I've chosen to run my personal open web UI. So I'm going to be showing you how it runs in the next video. And Dave's going to walk us through in detail why he recommends this PC and how to optimize it for maximum performance with open web UI. Links in the description. Hope to see you there. Take care.